Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the validatory function, which is the last part of the six day faculty development program organized by Jyotinivas College. At the outset, I would like to welcome our principal, Dr. Sister Louisa Sebastian, Dr. Sister Mary Louisa Sebastian, our administrator, Sister Rosalie, the director of postgraduate courses, Sister Lalita Thomas, the IQAC coordinator, Dr. Carol Stanley, and <clears throat> controller of examinations, Dr. Lata, the organizing team of the faculty development program, and the participants who are joining us today online. We have come to the end of this six day program. And before we begin with the concluding remarks, I would like to request the Deputy IQAC coordinator and head of department of chemistry, Dr. Preeti Mangla, to present a small overview of what we have experienced these past six days. Over to you, Preeti, ma'am. Thank you, Mikhail. Education is an endless journey through knowledge and enlightenment, said Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. An investment in knowledge pays the best, the interest leading to progress in family institution, society, and nation. And we were there for last five days to accomplish the same objective. Good morning, one and all. A six-day international faculty development program from 16th January 2024 to 21st January 2024 on quality enhancement to facilitate academic excellence and well-being organized by Internal Quality Assurance Cell, IQAC, Jyotinivas College, Autonomous, Bengaluru, has achieved its objectives towards sustainable development goal, that is global goal, which means to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. We completely succeeded in achieving our goal set and rejuvenated ourselves with three P's, positivity, perseverance, and perfection, leading to fourth P, progress. During inauguration on the first day, our principal, Dr. Sister Mary Louisa Sebastian, emphasized on nurturing well-being in our academic community. She said that nurturing well-being involves taking intentional actions to promote and maintain a state of overall health and happiness. It encompasses various aspects of life, including physical, mental, emotional, and social well-being. The speaker, Professor Dr. N. J. Sankaran, former vice chancellor, Kachi University, and advisor, VIT University, gave his insights on building an effective learning environment to bridge the gap between the learner and the teacher. He explained the term quality assurance, quality sustenance, quality enhancement, and quality enrichment, which are often used in the context of quality management and improvement. Each term reflects a specific aspect of ensuring and improving the quality of products, services, or processes within an organization. Sir so focused on flipped classrooms, five dimensions of effective professional development of teachers, learner maxims, learner methods and relationships, importance of a strong bonding with the students, ways to improve bonding with the students, importance of communication in Indian context, six components of voice production, effective communication and relationship, man's research on types of students and importance of Guru Sishya Parampara. The productive session of day one was concluded with a quote on lifelong learning by Professor Jay Shankaran as learning is a continuous process. According to him, a continuous learning and development culture includes dynamic, flexible, relevant, engaging, and readily accessible learning. It empowers learners and strengthens their ability to apply their knowledge. The appropriate delivery format is key to an engaging and effective learning experience. Day two speaker, 
मिस्री की श्री प्रिया के हेच टेक्नोलॉजी हेड इन इस फ्री स्कूल बेंगलुरु गेव हर इनपुट्स ऑन टेक्नोलॉजी इनेबल्ड टीचिंग एंड लर्निंग she served on our plates a variety of resources available based on information and communication technologies to be used for effective teaching and learning process to name a few ed puzzle google art google lit trip lu google slides google speak sheets canva slack ai tools like chat gpt ideogram dfit and camel smart learning through technology in a smart era of technology was her mantra she made us understand all ict tools featured effectively by showing her created contents using applications of mentioned technology resources day 3 was based on the theme futuristic trends in education sector comprising of two resource persons dr melanie garson associate professor in conflict resolution and international security department of political science school of public policy university college london and professor father george tedapil stb former president iha and former principal celsian college siliguri dr melanie talked about online and remote learning personalized learning augmented and virtual reality video blocks peer to peer learning and transferable skills she discussed about challenges opportunities and advantages in education system and impact of events and social engagements she elaborated on personalized learning as adaptive learning technologies and ai driven platforms are being integrated to tell our educational experience to individual students personalized learning paths assessment and content delivery aim to address the diverse learning styles and paces of students ar and vr technologies are being explored to enhance the learning experience by creating immersive and interactive environments virtual field trips simulations and 3d models are used to make complex subjects more engaging she justified her deliberations according to her topic learning to walk again second speaker of the day 3 professor father jos tadathil focused on modern education and globalization of christian world view he emphasized the impact of religion and cultural ethos in indian education system he also spoke about ambedkar's philosophy of educate hesitate and organize and sri narayan gar's philosophy of one caste one religion one god in a human world he also said that collaborative projects and international partnerships are on the rise allowing students to work with peers from different parts of the world and gain a more global perspective his mantra of rethinking the why or what we do for future of education inspired us to explore further to enhance indian education system dr viveka nanda j dean of training academy for creative teaching bengaluru spoke about innovative pedagogical methods for effective teaching and learning on day 4 creativity and creative teaching methods was his mantra and he made his deliberations interesting and caught all our in- attentions he discussed about creative teaching model effective teaching and learning strategies kwl chart what i know what i want to know and what i have learned he emphasized on breaking the pattern of teaching so that it should not be monotonous think write pair and share visual auditory read and write kinesthetics we are key learners and physical spiritual emotional and intellectual components to be considered during effective teaching learning process he also talked about mind map and related software tools and graphic organizer organizers to be included for creative teaching J5 speaker Dr Chakran Srimon program director for leadership development 
United Boat for Christian Higher Education in Asia, Hong Kong SAR, expressed his views on changing role of teachers and effective coping mechanism for well-being of teachers. He discussed about four fundamental factors for leaders and leadership as integrity, authenticity, being given, and being an action by something bigger than oneself and being cause in the matter. He talked about power and access to power. According to him, overcoming adversity can build character and a deeper understanding of oneself. Ultimately, a lifelong journey filled with both bitter and good experiences is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Embracing all of one's life story allows for a more profound understanding of oneself and a greater capacity for empathy towards others who navigate their own unique paths. Friends, we are in OBE system, that is outcome-based education system. So what are the outcomes for, of this FDP? Well, according to me, creating a new beginning for quality teaching involves incorporating innovative approaches, leveraging technology and adopting effective strategies to enhance the learning experience. Here are some FDP inputs to initiate a positive change in teaching quality. Incorporate technology, personalized learning, active learning strategies, continuous professional development, assessment innovation, cultivate a positive learning environment, global perspective, embrace cultural competency and wellness and mindfulness. So this is not the end. It is the new beginning for all of us. Let us start with A, B, C, D, E. Access the AI tools, broaden our horizons, and be creative, demonstrate, and explore. Let our light shine. God bless us. Thank you all. Over to Mr. Mikhail. Thank you, Preeti ma'am, for that very thorough and meaningful summary of the six day faculty development program that we have just undergone. I now request our principal, Dr. Sister Mary Louisa Sebastian, to present her concluding remarks on the faculty development program. Over to you, Sister. Can you hear me? Yes, sister, we can hear you. Dear faculty members and participants from various places across the world, good morning. As we conclude this faculty development program on quality enhancement to facilitate academic excellence and well being, let us reflect on the collective commitment that we share towards fostering academic excellence and well-being. The sessions on all the days have been inspiring, invaluable, engaging, and enlightening. Experienced experts have addressed the critical convergence of educational quality, technical incorporation, and the holistic development of students. We have been advocated to explore innovative teaching methodologies that embrace technology to achieve academic excellence. The emphasis was on importance of continuous improvement with flawless integrity. But we shall not forget that true excellence can be achieved only by combining knowledge creativity and skills through genuine concern and relationships. This also involves nurturing the well-being of staff and students, acknowledging their diverse needs and creating environment that encourage both intellectual growth and emotional pliability. As we leave this conference, 
let our shared vision guide our actions. Let us take up quality enhancement initiatives that promote and pave the way for a brighter future, where education becomes a transformative force that empowers individuals and contributes to the betterment of society. Reach out to the students, extend an arm to help out, incorporate technology, promote creativity to innovate. Embrace all these and most importantly, embrace those around you academically and otherwise. All these will contribute enormously for the well being of everyone. May our endeavors enhance the quality of higher education, and may your dedication to quality enhancement endure and burn bright through our endeavors. Once again, hearty congratulations and heartfelt gratitude to the IQAC coordinator, Dr. Carol Stanley Zemler, members of the organizing committee. Dr. Lena Nair, Dr. Radha Ganapati, Dr. Josephine Narmada, Dr. Sophia, the entire IQAC team, and all the staff who have worked together to make this FTP a meaningful one, useful and successful exercise. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, sister, for your concluding remarks. It is now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to propose the vote of thanks for this faculty development program. First and foremost, God Almighty. And after that, we would like to thank our principal, Dr. Sister Mary Louisa Sebastian, the director of PG courses, Dr. Sister Lalitha Thomas, Sister Rosalie, our administrator, superior of the uh, uh, Jyotinivas community and all the sisters of St. Joseph of Tabs, the IQAC coordinator, Dr. Carol Stanley Sembler, and the controller of examinations, Professor Lata, along with the organizing team and the entire IQAC, and every coordinator of all the teams involved in this faculty development program and the members as well. A special thanks to the technical and support staff who have been instrumental in making sure that no glitch takes place during this program. Mr. Praveen, Mr. Basil, Mr. Richard and Mr. Morgan have been behind the scenes every day. And last but not the least, all the participants who have joined us on all the six days offline and online. Without you, the program would not have been a success. A notice for all participants, the final feedback link will be posted in the chat box as well as the group. Please ensure that you fill your name and the name of your institution in block letters to make sure that there is no error in filling out the certificate. In case of any error, the message will contain the contact details of our members who are in charge of making these corrections. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a nice day.